Así. Okay, uh... how do you start this vlog again? Okay. Upon hearing of human dreams precious as gold, an insatiable evil dragon descended upon the kingdom. Oblivious to this ill, the king and his princess continued to debate the content of their meal. Meat or vegetable, though the princess' most loyal servant would have proposed both to end the squabble. Mm. But few knew his name, and fewer still cared for his counsel. And then the evil dragon appeared. Oh no. Um... Dreams like gold. I wonder if they will be flavorful. Dreams like gold. I wonder if they will be flavorful. Oh. <sighs> These uneven tiles on the ground knock the wind out of my sails. Ah, good. Very good. Though you are puny, you harbor dreams grand enough for myself. Be gone, evil dragon. Evil dragon? How laughable. A dragon as illustrated and thoughtful as myself should surely be granted enlightened as a title. My kin are known to covet treasure, yet I have found the dreams of puny man more enticing than jewels. It is most spectacular how man can stuff their minds with dreams, whether they be starving or full. Human dreams are more precious than gold, or so they say. Today I will see for myself if your dreams are indeed as filling as they are valuable. My hunger wears away at my control. I must feast as soon as possible. Puny king, if you value your own life and those of your kin, then offer up thy sacrifice thereupon! To see me okay. as a coward, are your vile eyes mere reflective stones? Dreams and nobility are my lifelong pursuits. I will not give them up for you. Be gone, evil dragon. The kingdom won't cower before you. I must urge that you reconsider. Though courage fills your measly soul. Which choice is more favorable between sacrifice and annihilation? Some time will surely show. <sighs> I will find some rest in your city outskirts, but before nightfall, I will return for my fill. If you fail to give, then I will take for myself. Your palace shall be my hunting grounds, and your halls my stove. Oh, thank you. I shall treasure this good fortune. Come on, what's he move? What's he move? Convinced that the king will in time provide a delicious meal, the hubristic dragon departed the castle for a short break. The righteous king had no intention to yield and planned to call upon his banners to conquer evil. I will defeat the dragon to protect our kingdom. My child, you forget yourself. A princess cannot march. Your place is not in battle, but within the boudoir. I 
I have not forgotten your teachings. I cannot give up dreams and nobility. I should walk freely among our people, as a princess, but also as a warrior. With the dragon outside, I cannot just sit still. You are a princess first. Moreover, I cannot bear to see you step into danger. Furthermore, you... <laughs> Rest assured, Your Majesty. By my side, her safety will be secure. With no name or honor, how do you propose to protect her? Alas, say no more. I will summon the bravest warriors of the land to ride beside her. There were three celebrated warriors in the realm, each endowed with great gifts and known for skills spectacular. All waited patiently outside the palace, eager to step into the throne room. The forger of great legacies, the world-famous fighter, Attendant A. His glory is resplendent, and his travels the epics of the day. Within the realm, only the most ignorant have not heard of the hero, or given him a claim. Okay, got three. Listen. <laughs> you say you didn't know? Here, I'll tell you all about my name. I see, this cloak has a very colorful history. Please, listen carefully. A phenomenal plan takes time to formulate. Use your brain, not your fists. Okay. This guy. <laughs> you say you didn't know? Here, I'll tell you all about my name. The often indecisive and overcautious tactician, Attendant B. Okay. Specialist in surviving any and everything in one piece. Is he paranoid or simply meticulous? No consensus exists. A phenomenal plan takes time to formulate. Use your brain, not your fists. See, this cloak has a very colorful history. Please listen carefully. I think it's this guy. I mean, it could be the other one. A phenomenal plan takes time to formulate. Use your brain, not your fists. Yeah. You think I'm afraid? D don't discount my field expertise. And finally, our preeminent dragon slayer, Attendant C. Dragon slaying is a piece of cake, if you must ask me. The slayer recounted his many legends, showcasing spoils for all to see. See, this cloak has a very colorful history. Please listen carefully. Okay. See, this cloak has a very colorful history. Please listen carefully. The warriors have arrived. Ah, they are ready to fight. Their names are so long and complicated. Why is that? To project shock and awe, people often exaggerate their deeds. Oh, I, I must be ignorant. I I've never heard of such a trend. Welcome, brave warriors. May you persevere and prevail against the obstacles ahead. I swear upon all my past glory, a triumph for our princess is at hand. <laughs> the princess need not fear with me by her side. The dragon will fall in no time. Uh, a dragon poses no threat. My plan will make it flee with its tail between its legs.
Friends, you make fair points, but you may not even have to fight. My slaying prowess is acclaimed throughout our land. The dragon will tremble and scram. So, accompanied by her loyal servant, as well as the three famed warriors, the princess set out on her quest. Waffle, waffle, waffle! Waffle, waffle! Mwah, mwah. <laughs> Today is a lucky day. Paimon, Traveler, what did you think? Please tell me your thoughts. Terrific! Anyway, please stay tuned. There are four more acts in this play, and they'll be shown on various stages on the island. Don't miss out on the best show of Twilight Theater! Four more acts? Yeah! You can watch the middle three acts in any order before the final act. And when the final act begins, please hold your breath for the grand decisive battle! What? Stay Sigh. tuned! He said there are four more acts after this. If we see a stage on the island, shall we go check it out? Yes, 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 yes. Uh. Oh, I see now. I see. Outside of the city gates, there lies a blessed stretch of prairie by the lake, with lush vegetation and a gentle, pleasant breeze. Seeking some time to rest, the wicked dragon landed with ease. Oh. Darn it! Why is this guy getting in my way? My quest is to track the dragon. I don't have time to waste. Ugh, what rotten luck to get scammed before even concluding a single sail. A lake across and so far away. The castle as if a bird in a cage. Have the humans finished preparing my meal, or do they yet believe they can defy their fate? A lake across <laughs> and so far away. The castle as if a bird in a cage. Have the humans finished preparing my meal, or do they yet believe they can defy their fate? The sun is high and the land scorching. In the interest of comfort, I will seek a more accommodating base. For one promised moment of unrivaled taste, I have traveled for hundreds of miles and hungered over dozens of days. The humans better not exhaust my patience, for even I have never had unlimited grace. Having spoken thus, the dragon sought relief in the shade. Yet forthwith, from the other direction, a merchant came. Uh, what rotten yep. luck to get scammed before even concluding a single sale. Uh, what rotten luck to get scammed before even concluding a single sale. I am a merchant who has traveled a very long way. Is this how this kingdom deals with trades? Throughout my entire career, I've never encountered a customer as loud or strange as this man today. To him, everything I have for sale is either a manipulative scheme for money or undeserving trifles of heinous quality. To think I even mistook him for some kind of connoisseur, when at the end of it all, he only made a fool of me. He never cared to close a sale. He just saw me as a challenge and refused to be defeated. As the merchant stewed over his anger, yet another irritated soul came onto the scene. Darn it! Why is this guy getting in my way? My quest is to track the dragon. I don't have time to waste. Darn it! Why is this guy getting in my way? My quest is to track the dragon. I don't have time to waste. 
As an adventurer, defeating evil is my calling. Just the thought of him makes me enraged. All I said was that I've never heard of him, and he's treating that like the biggest mistake. Insulting me? Claiming I want to steal his glory? And suggesting my quest is just a ploy? Evil Dragon! Show yourself! Resistance is futile! That's him! Oh, that must be him! I shall treasure this good fortune. Humans are truly a rude and rowdy lot. To think they can cause such a ruckus without even showing their faces. The man in pursuit is the kingdom's famed fighter. Though the sun continues to blaze, he continues spiritedly with his chase. <laughs> it would seem that my boundless fame has caused even the evil dragon to lose its nerve. <laughs> it would seem that my boundless fame has caused even the evil dragon to lose its nerve. As an enlightened dragon, one cannot tolerate such deranged words. Aha! Evil dragon! I didn't believe you would actually come out and face me! The puny human talks big and employs an aggressive tone, yet does the substance of his dream back up his claim? Oh. Hmm. Oh, and the beast is silent! Is my dream so grand that even a dragon finds it difficult to consume? As the noble warrior faced off against the evil dragon, the anxious princess and her entourage arrived at last. The nameless servant kept his eyes on the field. The warrior's words have ignited a fire within his heart. I admire his fearless figure. It would be a dream to also one day prove my character. I dream he's gonna be soon. I admire his fearless figure. It would be a dream to also one day prove my character. Evil Dragon, why do you not speak? Have you finally realized you should cower in fear? I care not for those who are lesser. Your dream is massive yet hollow in nature. For now, this wick, enlightened dragon still cannot decide if it's fit to eat. Oh, how vile of you to humiliate me! Just because I'm an enemy! I regarded you as a worthy opponent, yet you use such insidious tactics! I, the world-famous fighter, will never fall before your degradation and trickery! You disgust me! The fighter's animated speech kindled a burning flame within even the oft-dispassionate heart of the royal lady. I am long tired of my peaceful boudoir. I wish to fight alongside my soldiers. Huh. Is there a show on? Or... Well, whatever. I need to get home. I am long tired of my peaceful boudoir. I wish to fight alongside my soldiers. Though one sees little reason to teach a lesson, perhaps no choice is left in the matter. Too many appetizers before the dish ruins the mood, but just for today, I can entertain an early platter. To everyone's shock, 
The evil dragon then swallowed the fighter's dream in one big gulp. It is just as I thought. Thin and crunchy, though empty under its shell. A most marvelous texture. The warrior was handily defeated. So he was a gifted orator, but never a true fighter. Conceit became his downfall. His power did not match his stature. The dragon remained unsatiated. Under everyone's gaze, it flew away to parts unfamiliar. Ooh, the story's real good. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> the tactician is correct. We require a plan before we fight. Thanks to my servant's farsighted work, we have seized the initiative. Oh, your highness honors me. I was simply doing my duty. Placing the saddle on the right horse is the way of the world. Take your praise with pride. The tactician has fallen behind. Why does he falter? Did he get entangled in a struggle? Uh... He promised to quell all draconic cataclysms. Perhaps he is torn between myriad schemes. Through all faith and cynicism, the cautious tactician remained silent, his face one of dismay and gloom. <laughs> I'm learning more about you all the time. Oh, tactician! The dragon beckons! Please enlighten us about the stratagem! Stratagem? Uh, no stratagem can be perfected so quickly for a situation this grave. More time is vital. <laughs> this merciful enlightened one shall grant thee all the time in the world. Only at dusk will I call the dust to settle. Hark! The evil dragon speaks! It was simply feigning sleep to lure us into peril! Attendant B shook where he stood, stopping just short from falling to his knees. He muttered and apologized, then ran away to the gate without hesitation. Nice. I shall treasure this good fortune. The princess and her loyal servant rushed off to find him, while the dragon broke into laughter. <laughs> if the king had chosen to appease me, I wouldn't have been able to enjoy such a scene. Leaving behind her tactician-seeking servant, the princess returned alone to keep the dragon under guard. Hey, what? <laughs> if you ask me, this time of peace is truly fantastic. What with food and wine and beauties. If a mirage belies the tactician's wisdom, what may I call on to keep my kingdom safe? F for the princess, I must fight. I mean, you. If a mirage belies the tactician's wisdom, what may I call on to keep my kingdom safe? The element of surprise fades. The dragon now lies calmly in wait. The tactician has lost his nerve, yet my servant followed in pursuit. 
Shockingly, open city gates greet me where guards should have stood. An old guard arrived. Though he was quite visibly drunk, his footsteps were surprisingly steady. <clears throat> if you ask me, this time of peace is truly fantastic, what with food and wine and beauties. Pick him on. <clears throat> if you ask me, this time of peace is truly fantastic, what with food and wine and beauties. The aristocrats have never known our hardships. The, the searing sun and the chilling wind. Tch, dragons, tacticians, pff, what a boatload of nonsense. My eyes are dim now and my ears ring. Why did they send me out to the front lines to take on a dragon? Though the young guard learned much from his senior, he hasn't forgotten his wish to defend the kingdom. F for the princess, I must fight! The tactician's trail fades, but the guard should carry his weight. Uh... I kind of forgot. For the princess, I must fight! With everyone gone, I am the last line of defense! I must save the kingdom from... From... Uh, oh, my belly... Could it be? No, not right now! Uh, uh. <sighs> did he just run off? And the food. The show must go on. Should I find someone to take his place? What? Why did the guard run away? The show hasn't finished yet. <sighs> the narrator said they'll have to find a replacement. Ah! There's a real guard over there. Let's go and ask him. Excuse me, did you see an actor running away? Of course. How ridiculous. How could he waste such a great opportunity? If only it was me. I've always wanted to perform in a show, but I never got the chance. Wait, isn't this just perfect? Well, I've seen them rehearse, but I'm still not a real actor. But you are a real guard. The other guy suddenly disappeared just as he got to... I am the last line of defense! We can't let that stand! Yeah. As a guard, isn't it also your duty to protect the audience's wish to enjoy the play? Please, I must see how the story ends. That's true, but... It's always been your dream to perform on a stage! People are waiting! There's no time to hesitate! Let's bring him over! You got me with me. Uh, my line should be... Look here, dragon! <laughs> very well, very well. Let this enlightened one see if you have any battle prowess to back up that shout. Uh, the loyal servant finally returned just as the terrible fight was about to break out. You and I some my little of it. The tactician's trail fades, but the guard should carry his weight. No, I should have led him into battle. I was still way too late. The late arrival let out a resigned sigh, even as the dragon raised the stakes. Though the young guard fought with valor, the cunning dragon still snapped up the prize in one take. Oh, 
If I had worked harder during training, I wouldn't feel so helpless today. Though my appetite remains healthy, you did well to quench my cravings. The portions were modest, yet the taste remained rather satisfying. If the appetizers had already entertained me so, surely the main dish would cast a spell. Thus again satisfied, the proud dragon licked its mouth and leisurely flew off. I shall treasure this good fortune. Yeah. Bravo, 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 bravo! I see the stage. Let's dance. Oh. Whirling snow. Hi. Shout to art. Sumetsu. Thank you. Oh, I gotta get. I gotta get over there. I shall treasure this good fortune. I must see how the story concludes. Still vowing to defeat the dragon, the princess followed the trail. The servant continued at his pace, shouldering all burdens without fail. Though the slayer scorned the servant, the loyal man paid it no mind. If I bore his tools and freed his mind, perhaps a victory he shall find. He bears the sword of destiny, the blade of the chosen one. He will raise it before the dragon, and victory will follow in time. As if hearing his thoughts, the dragon descended upon a village. Let me see, let me find... Is my golden dream right at hand? It should be my duty to banish the dragon. Let me see, let me find... Is my golden dream right at hand? Dragon, how dare you slander my name! You. Let me see, let me find... Is my golden dream right at hand? Oh, dragon, no one would laugh at you if you were to flee in fear. The human realizes not how comical he and his words appear. Wise and merciful as I am, I will refrain from taking the bait. However, I pray you will live to regret what you say. <laughs> For a dull human, you sure have a sharp tongue. Let's see it then, if among heroes you truly belong. The princess has also finally caught up with her attendants. It should be my duty to banish the dragon. You. It should be my duty to banish the dragon. Your Highness, your permission to charge. With my blade and extensive experience, I will take this dragon apart. <sighs> permission granted. Be on your guard. I once slew a poisonous dragon and took this most precious reward. This cloak lets me evade any type of regard. I will bide my time and find the moment to strike the heart. Ah, and here I thought you were privy to some special art. <sighs> Did you plan to flee all along and have only been waiting for a chance to depart? 
If the Slayer put on his cloak and walked into the crowd, who would be able to tell him apart? Dragon, how dare you slander my name? Oh. Dragon, how dare you slander my name? Despite my patience and mercy, you have shown no shame. Bitter regret will be yours after I take aim. By all means, please go on. This Enlightened One cannot wait to play your game. L let's take it over there! Silently acknowledging the request, the dragon twisted its features into a benevolent smile. Collecting rare and exquisite treasures. Yes. This seems suitably sophisticated. In a flash, the dragon landed at the promised place. The princess and her loyal servant immediately followed apace. But the slayer remained rooted in place, as he somehow lost his faith. A dragon, bigger than those from the rhymes! But I won't be scared. I consider myself a fit man. A match for knights from the palace. Evil dragon, you'll see what I'm made of! You. Evil dragon, you'll see what I'm made of! Ow. I've climbed mountains, crossed lakes, traversed dungeons, and defeated your kin. To finally obtain this sword, the Blade of Fate. Leave now, otherwise this razor-sharp blade will cut you into pieces. <laughs> what must be a shining myth to you is but trivial babble to me. I will settle and not even move two feet. Attack as you please. Simple villagers gathered to witness the scene. Many were fascinated by the blade's myth. A farmer came forward to try out the blade, but others wondered if hands that had only held a pitchfork could even grasp the hilt. Hey, it's been all talk and no fighting! Give us a fight! I consider myself a fit man. A match for knights from the palace. A dragon bigger than those from the rhymes. But I won't be scared. I consider myself a fit man. A match for knights from the palace. <sighs> I thought I was strong enough, but I couldn't even shake it. The farmer used all his strength, but the sword remained in place. As for the princess and her servant, they also declined to try their faith. The dragon observed intently, but its patience finally wore away. Alas, I've grown tired of words and charades. When will a puny human finally save the day? Take the blade and strike me down, if you mean what you say. Uh, a mighty dragon slayer shan't do your bidding. A dragon slayer? You are but a charlatan. Drop your pretense and ask the child. Even he can see through you. Could the dragon's words be true? 
And there is no true dream under those layers of armor. A dragon bigger than those from the rhymes, but I won't be scared. A dragon bigger than those from the rhymes, but I won't be scared. That shiny armor, why does it click? His mouth is open, why does he not speak? Though I'm not hungry, this snack's been delivered straight to my door. The dragon's huge mouth instantly swallowed the Slayer's dream. <coughs> mm. It's just as I expected. Long rotten dreams make for terrible food. This bad apple taste. What a disgrace. The Slayer was also defeated. So the tales of past battles did not hold up. The dragon again departed the scene, leaving only the bewildered Slayer in his wake. I shall treasure this good fortune. Waffle, just waffle! Mwah, mwah. Waffle! My most distinguished guests, please hear me. I'm sure you have watched the first four acts. I hope you've been enjoying the show. The stage is now set for the final act. Oh, I'm so excited I could cry. There is still something I need to follow up with backstage. I am terribly sorry that I cannot escort you to the final stage personally, but I'll see you there. Ooh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry, hurry, hurry. Aye. Take flight! Okay. I'm sorry, but when treasures are inside, uh... They tend to get the most power. A lucky day. Let's go over here and unlock that ray point. Uh, ocean point. Whatever you want to call it. I don't judge. about to set, and the moon soon to rise. Our time is almost up, but evil survives. The famed attendants all took on the dragon, but they fell one by one. I made a vow when all of this began, but now I fear my vow has become a farce.
As her most loyal servant, I should share her worries. I am a nobody, but thanks to her, I was given a place. Nevertheless, I admire the princess's diligence and kindness. Please, don't dwell in sadness. We can reflect on the trio's mistakes. Your counsel is valid. Let me recall their words and deeds. An inflated ego, yet falling at the first hurdle. The princess remembered what she'd seen. Oh. Hi, guys. Did not see you. I fancied myself a fighter, but my enemy saw right through me. I overestimated my ability. My past has proved my deeds. My laurels should now be able to speak for me. To protect myself, I ran away and let others take my place. I fancied myself a fighter, but my enemy saw right through me. I overestimated my ability. You yeah, maybe? I fancied myself a fighter, but my enemy saw right through me. I overestimated my ability. I couldn't win against a strong enemy, but I also clung hard to my conceit. I lacked respect, because I feared others wouldn't respect me. A dream that was massive in size, yet hollow inside. Lots of guts, but no ability. A supposedly foolproof plan, yet with no one to see it through. The princess remembered again. My past has proved my deeds. My laurels should now be able to speak for me. To protect myself, I ran away and let others take my place. Ew. To protect myself, I ran away and let others take my place. All my plans evaporated when I saw the dragon in front of me. I did survive everything, but every time I did so by abandoning those standing next to me. He was a tactician with neither morals nor strategy. It's natural to be cautious, but one who abandons their comrades is no hero. Avoiding the present and only speaking endlessly of past glories, the princess remembered one last time. My past has proved my deeds. My laurels should now be able to speak for me. To give my life now would be foolish. It's elementary to balance risk and benefits. His past has faded. All he has now is his former glory. The spirit has decayed. He has long forgotten the taste of his dream. Ah, oh, if they all failed to defeat the dragon, then I... With only my dream and my rapier, how can I possibly defeat the dragon? Though I am but a lowly bystander in the palace, I know you to be humble and grounded you are never selfish or merciless. All know you for your eagerness and diligence, your dreams that are no less than gold. Your Highness, please don't underestimate yourself. Believe in your golden ideals, and that you will slay that dream-devouring dragon for good. Hi. 
I shall treasure this good fortune. It is almost night. The dragon has changed its name to the Starving One. I've had snack after snack, but dinner still eludes me. I think dragon is my favorite. I've had snack after snack, but dinner still eludes me. Snacks are distractions. In the end, they have no true substance. What's more, some of these just made me feel... sick. I'm afraid only a true golden dream can sufficiently quench my cravings. The loyal servant approached quietly to observe the dragon. For the princess, he will do any and everything. For my promise to the king, but also to make her happy, even if it seems impossible. Huh? The dragon looks strange. Why is it covering its chest? Let's hear what it's mumbling. I shouldn't have underestimated the humans, or been so gluttonous. Now that my stomach is churning, I have no strength left to face off against the king. Overjoyed, the loyal servant rushed back to share the news. I will wield my rapier with pride! Look! There's a spot above its heart that isn't covered by scales! Take it down while it's still weak! Evil dragon! I challenge thee to protect my kingdom! <laughs> Filthy human! With a fearless thrust, the princess fulfilled her pledge. The world opens itself before those who do not forget their dreams and nobility. Thank you as well, my loyal servant. You deserve a fitting reward. In light of our recent trials, I will name you... The Shatterer of Despair, Flugel der Dunkelheit, Servant of the Princessin der Veratilung. Finally, the Princess personally defeated the Dragon, and peace returned to the Kingdom. All praise, all praise. <laughs> oh, the show was a resounding success. Our thanks to all of the actors and actresses, and our thanks to everyone who came in to support us. Oh, of course, we must thank you as well, Traveler and Paimon. It was a beautiful show. I really appreciated your undivided attention. <laughs> It felt just like the relentlessly piercing gaze of the evil dragon. The title. Oh, uh, yes. The title is Tale of the Sword-Wielding Princess. Yeah. Well, uh, it's, uh, it's just like how the five Kassen are usually portrayed in four poems. Hey, my Kawikon. Bye, base. 
Uh, emergency well, food. anyway, the important thing is not the sword in the hand, but the courage in the heart. Back to business. Now that the curtains have closed, I would like to take this rare opportunity to invite the Traveler and Paimon to take a photo with the crew. Please don't refuse. Come on. I shall treasure this good fortune. Okay, as we all know. This world is full of un... Is everyone ready? Three, two, one! Yay! Whoa! Tone down the excitement, buddy! <laughs> Are you sure that the photo is fine? It's totally fine. A commemoration picture could always benefit from a dose of quirkiness. Thank you again, Traveler and Paimon. Ah, oh, summer. Wonderful summer. Ah, oh, the good times never last. I wish times like this would be like a show that never ends. I totally... Ah... Uh. Anyways, my niece pain. Into the wind. Hello. I'm home. Hungry. <laughs> One with nature. Sorry. I mean, it was a good show, right? Right. Huh. 